Those devastating weekend storms rattled the Ontario election campaign today. The Liberals accused Conservative leader Stephen, uh, pardon me, Doug Ford of falling down on the job as Premier, but they may have spoken too soon. Al Sweeney has the story. The region near Ottawa in eastern Ontario was one of the hardest hit by the storm on Saturday. Where is Doug Ford? Where is Doug Ford? And Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca was there today, talking to residents of areas like this and accusing Doug Ford of not being there and not doing his job. Today I'm doing what a Premier should be doing, our Premier should be doing, any Premier normally would be doing in this circumstance. Ford's officials had said he'd be campaigning in Toronto without cameras there, but he turned up in Uxbridge, touring storm damage. It's shocking it's to see what it is. How, you know, it takes one building out and the other building's fine. And all these cars have been damaged. And promising help for people affected. Uh, we'll be there to support any community uh, right across the province. This is uh, a one, once in a lifetime storm like this. Along with the storm, COVID was making its impact felt on the campaign. We will fix it. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> NDP leader Andrea Horvath was still recovering from COVID on the weekend and left federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh to fill in today, reaching out to voters. They don't want Doug Ford who helps out his wealthy insider friends. They don't want Doug Ford who's favoring wealthy developers. Green Party leader Mike Schreiner appeared to be doing well after getting COVID and promised a green government would create five new provincial parks. Expanding access to nature will help improve people's physical and mental well-being and just overall well-being. Now the Victoria Day weekend is ending and there are only 10 days to go until the election. Political commentator Keith Leslie says people will now start to firm up their thinking about who to vote for. People are going to start making their choices or if they've already made their choice, they're going to take a good second look and say, is this the way I want to vote on June 2nd? But he says people aren't in the mood to throw out a government. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.